Prime Minister Justin Trudeau has spent time in Africa trying to court the dozens of nations there that comprise a lot of the voting bloc at the United Nations into supporting Canada's pitch up against two other countries to try and win a temporary UN Security Council seat. Is it worth the time? Is it worth the money? A lot of people are automatically saying, no, let's just drop this entire charade. I'm half inclined to agree, but I have a little bit of a caveat. Do we have a problem with these multinational gatherings that we have, the United Nations and other bodies? We absolutely do. And here's the reason why. Because they so often represent the proliferation of the lowest common denominator. And the good guys are not allowed to stand up and assert what they know to be right and true. Case in point, all these sketchy countries that are on the UN Human Rights Council, Saudi Arabia and other countries that are allowed to get up and hector others about their performance. Meanwhile, they have some of the most poor human rights performances in the world. It's just a joke. It calls into credibility the entire respectability of the United Nations. It's a great argument for dismantling the whole darn thing. But if you can have someone who stands up there and says, you know what, instead of going with the flow, instead of doing a go along to get along, I'm going to get up there and I'm going to do the Herculean feat of trying to grab opinion by the horns and wrench it in my direction. If I'm going to assert that that Canadian values, or the Western values, liberal democratic values are good values that need to be promulgated, that need to be celebrated. If we can do that, well, good on us. And I'm left wondering when Justin Trudeau is in these African countries, is he doing a go along to get along with some of the countries that may want to push us in certain directions to be more and more on climate alar alarmism, to be more and more in league with what China is doing, the rise of the global superpower. Because this isn't something that's discussed much in Canada, but China has actually done a lot to, to get its tentacles into Africa and African nations, signing a lot of deals with them, bringing them into the Belt and Road Initiative, a lot of things to bring Africa under the wing of the new sort of world order that, uh, that China is trying to do, supplanting the United States and, and these sort of post-World War II Western-led institutions and bringing the world more into their favor. What's going on when Justin Trudeau is there with these African nations? Because Africa, I think, is a continent that will grow in importance. Canada will have more relationships with those nations. We're going to have uh, probably lots more interactions with, say, the good people of Ghana, for instance. And by and large, we should make that a positive thing and find ways to make that happen. But are we going to do it in a way where we are actually out there as envoys and emissaries for broader Canadian values, the things we want to advance? at places like the United Nations. What is the point of getting a whole bunch of votes for this UN Security Council seat if we don't tell people, this is why we want this seat. This is what we're gonna do with this seat. This is the way we're going to vote. This is why this seat matters to us. And these are the values we're bringing to the table. Because you better believe that those permanent members, Russia, China, and so forth, and obviously the UK and the United States, they have a strong sense of themselves and their identity, and that's why they so often come to loggerhead and why we have stalemates with the UN Security Council veto power. Canada needs a strong sense of itself and needs to be proud of it and have swagger with it. If, if we realize, looking at the lay of the land, we just can't possibly get votes because countries don't agree with the way we're doing things. They don't agree with our values. Well, do we keep going? Do we fight the good fight or do we compromise and go along to get along. If it's the latter, let's not do it. Because then it's just not worth it. To me, it's not the quantity, it's not the money, it's not the time, it's not the saving face, it's the quality. It's what are we actually standing up for as we fight for this seat? What will we stand up for should we win it?